Are you struggling to house train your Frenchie? Don't worry, in this video, I'm gonna go over exactly how to house train your Frenchie so that you can avoid accidents inside your house. So stay tuned. For the best dog training and product advice, be sure to hit subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video every Wednesday. And for those of you who don't know me, my name is Lisa. I am a certified professional dog trainer and I have helped hundreds and hundreds of clients live more peaceful lives with their pups. All right, so without further ado, let's get into how to house train your Frenchie. Step one is to create a really strict potty training schedule. A general guideline is for every month old they are, they can hold it for about an hour. Now we don't ever want to push them to the max, especially while they are still learning. So we need to take them out more often than what the kind of recommended amount is if they're having a lot of accidents. So outline your day, be sure to squeeze in all of that potty training with your pup. If you have to be at work, then you can always hire a walker or someone in your neighborhood maybe can help. However, with a puppy, you definitely will need to let them out multiple times so that they aren't having accidents in the crate. Which brings me to number two. I really recommend crate training your pup for potty training. So crates are really great for protecting your pup while you're away so they don't get into stuff, but they're also really, really great for potty training. The reason is most dogs and puppies do not want to pee on themselves. So if you get a crate that's just big enough where they can stand up and turn all the way around, then that'll really make it so they can't pee on one side of the crate and sleep on the other. And like I said, we're taking advantage of the fact that pups do not naturally want to pee on themselves. Now, the little caveat to this is they can only hold it for so long. So eventually they will pee on themselves if you take too long to take them out. Also, if you have a puppy mill puppy, they're used to peeing on themselves because ever since they were little, they might be in small confinement. So they might have already peed on themselves in the crate. Another little caveat is if your pup travels by plane, they may have peed on themselves on the flight over and they may start to get used to it. So if this is the case, you'll just need to be a little bit more strict with your potty training schedule and take them out even more. Now the next step is to prevent all accidents in the house. Now the way you could do this is either one, the crate, which I mentioned earlier, or number two, attaching them to you on a leash in the house. I know it sounds a little crazy, but keep in mind that this is just for a few weeks, that is it. Once they are fully potty trained, they aren't going to want to go in the house. They're gonna to prefer to go outside, so you won't have to attach them to you anymore. Keep in mind that using the bathroom in it of itself is reinforcing to your pup. So your pup has some discomfort when they have to pee, just like when you or I have to pee, they go pee and that discomfort is relayed. In learning theory, we call that being reinforced. So reinforced, meaning that behavior is more likely to happen in the future. So it's really, really important that you prevent all accidents in the house because every single time they have an accident, that is going to reinforce going again and again. So let's prevent all accidents and be really on top of it. This is no time to be lazy. You really have to stay dedicated to taking them out. Now, step three is to reward heavily, heavily, heavily when they do go outside. We don't wanna reward the second they start to pee because then they're gonna stop peeing and then look to you. We want to reinforce when they fully emptied their bladder. We treat, treat, treat. So give at least three really high value treats like liver treats, something like that. And then just lots and lots of praise. Eventually, if you want to put go potty on cue, the second you see that they're about to use the bathroom, say go potty and then reward once they have fully emptied their bladder. I love this cue because it just makes it really convenient when you need your pup to use the bathroom quickly. But just keep in mind that if you're always ending the outside time right after they pee, that could be perceived as a punishment. So we don't only wanna use it when we're about to go inside. Another big tip about potty training. So if you notice that your pup did go inside, what we don't wanna do is punish them for it. So number one, if it has 
spend too much time since they've gone inside, they won't associate the punishment with the behavior of peeing. They're just gonna be scared of you and that diminishes the bond between you and your pup. If you do happen to punish them while they are peeing and they associate that the peeing is what they're being punished for, what can happen is they'll start to hide it. So they might start to pee in the closet or they might start to pee behind the couch, places where you can't see because they've just realized peeing in front of you is scary. When you're not around, it is a lot safer to use the bathroom. Now, another little troubleshooting tip, let's say you take your pup outside, they don't use the bathroom, you come back inside and then they pee immediately. For this, what you'll wanna do is instead of taking your pup inside and letting them have free range of the house, you're gonna immediately put them back in their crate and then in about five or 10 minutes, I'm gonna take them back out and then try again. I'm gonna keep repeating this until they actually use the bathroom. And then once they use the bathroom, they get to earn that freedom. Now, if you're not using the crate because your pup has no issues peeing on themselves, you'll do the same thing except attach them to you and just keep a really, really close eye on them. You'll tend to realize when your pup is about to use the bathroom because they'll start to do that pee walk, start sniffing around. So if you catch your pup doing that, immediately pick them up and take them outside. Like I said, potty training is no easy task once your pup has already had a few accidents inside. So really, really be diligent. Don't be lazy and make sure if you do have accidents or previous accidents that have happened, use a really good enzyme cleaner. I like nature's miracle. And it's important to use an enzyme cleaner so it gets rid of the pheromones of the pee, not just sanitizing the pee. I've included a link to nature's miracle on Amazon below, but just keep in mind nature's miracle alone isn't going to solve the problem. Unfortunately, there's no real like lazy way to get around potty training. But like I said, after one or two weeks of being really, really diligent, you get to have the rest of their life accident free until they get older and they can't control their bladder. But that is another issue. Oh, I almost forgot one last final tip. So this is actually this should be the first tip, but we always want to make sure that we have ruled out any medical issues because if your pup has a UTI and they're having accidents, well, it doesn't really help if you train because you got to take care of the UTI first. So always just make sure that you have a clean bill of health first before you begin any training plan. Now, if you wanna get deeper into really understanding training, I have a free on-demand webinar called The Five Biggest Training Mistakes Pup Parents Make and How to Avoid Them so that you can live a more peaceful life with your pup. If you want access, I've included the link below and you'll have instant access. I really recommend watching this because it's gonna give you a better understanding of how to communicate with your pup. All right, that's it for today, everyone, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.